Court of Spain's storekeepers should say special prayers to the God of Carnival because their volume of business triples in the final days preceding Juve, the first day of Carnival. Ordinary homes become costume factories, with only the wealthier bands being able to employ seamstresses to make their basic costumes. Carnival is not just for music and musician. Everyone, rich or poor, joins a masquerade troupe or mass band, as they're called. The wealthy, too, have adopted the Gayap system of working, helping each other to decorate the costumes which they will wear on Carnival Tuesday. Each band chooses a theme. This one is Secrets of the Skies, the 1973 presentation of Bobby Ammon and Wayne Barker, two of Carnival's most consistent masquerade band organizers. Tremendous feats of ingenuity and engineering are necessary both to build their costumes and to get them out of the mass yard. Come up and take it. Come on. Come out, man. I'm going to break down the wall. Down, down. 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 Among pre-carnival competitions, the judging of the kings and queens of the bands is certainly the most spectacular. These remarkable creations are constructed to fit a single wearer who will parade them in front of the grandstand for several hours on Dimash Gras, the Sunday before Jouvet, in the competition to choose Queen Carnival and King Carnival. Jupiter, superstar, ruler of the sky, from the band Secrets of the Sky. Splendid savage of the sea, from the band 30,000 Leagues on the Sea. Gods of old Greece. Bird of Paradise. The Enchanted Vampire. Birdman's Paradise from the band Birds of the World. Satan from the band Mamadou Kama. Irving McWilliams, creator of Mama Luca Mas, leads what is reputed to be the band of the people. Mama Luca Mas really is a, a version of mine. It is bringing back memories of uh, Mas yesterday, how Mas was yesterday, how Mas is today, and how we believe Mas should be tomorrow. So it is actually uh, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. It is in bands like McWilliams's that we can see and understand the full involvement of the ordinary Trinidadian in the creative aspects of Carnival. McWilliams devotes a whole year's work as artist, empresario and manager to the creation of a band of masqueraders who will appear for two days only. Although his is not a wealthy band, the quality of his creations has always been stunning. Well, uh, uh, the reward has been very good. Uh, I have won the, the band of the year, and this is one of my uh, trophies here, uh, which I can show. This is really the people's choice for my presentation on um, our Nancy's story. And another one here, for winning uh, uh, the year before with uh, the wonders of Boko Reef. Uh, obviously, so to speak, I'm the champ, so I'm trying to see if this 
1973 uh, St. Producer hat trick. The Devil's Drive, Queen of the Band, Mama Lucana. Competitors, free of their massive costumes, now await the decision of the judges and the people. Meanwhile, Calypso takes over. On stage is King Calypso himself, Francisco Slinger, the mighty sparrow. Run down quick, run by run down quick. You don't keep good manners, this plastic soul is by run down. I breathe between two monkeys in the The winner, Sparrow, crowned again as Calypso King, Jupiter Superstar, chosen king of all the bands. Look for the silver lining, queen of all the bands. From now until five o'clock in the morning, the night explodes with the sound of dance bands. Poor and rich, black and white, fling themselves into the joy and abandon of the moment in their respective clubs. Five o'clock on Monday. Jouvet has arrived. Now the steel bands will begin to vitalize the whole city in the way that the Shango drums move their worshippers. For a day, color, class and creed will disappear in a riot of pure freedom. We're hoping to have, as we have seen all indications, the best carnival ever. I want, at this moment, to declare formally King Carnival, King Juve, open!
Trinidadians will be one in the Bacchanalian spirit of the Jumba. a day for old man, when you can wear any old thing and play any part. It is the direct descendant of the slaves carnival known as Jamet, when the freed slaves in the city to join what had previously been a white man's festival to mock their former masters. The whites then abandoned carnival and even attempted to stop it. Riots followed and there was more suppression, but the tradition grew stronger instead of dying and a new vitality entered carnival. Now, in old mass, anything goes. Carnival is a time of excess. Food and drink are in abundance. Sleep is hard to come by. People have literally died of exhaustion. Emotions run high. Nine months later, so does the birth rate. Tuesday is a day of real spectacle. Today you can be what you want to be, be it a devil or a god or anything that takes your fancy. Smokey to play a big time mass. Purple velvet and shining brass. He rides through town on a golden throne. All of the costume bands come out in their full strength 
which, in the case of Irving McWilliams' Mamaluka Mass, means over 2,000 people. They fight their way through the crowded streets to Queen's Park Savannah for the most spectacular competition of all, the Parade of the Bands. <laughs> This juju band leads the way. Their oily bodies are a deliberate threat to the finery of the other bands which carefully avoid them. Secrets of the Skies takes to the road. Mass, all 2,000 of them, still heading for the competition. Here in the profusion of carnival, the many cultures of Trinidad merge into one. In this pageant, the color and rhythms of Africa, Europe and Asia combine. Secrets of the Skies goes on stage. Secrets of the Skies wins overall band of the year. Mama Luka Mas, runner-up. and sophisticated bands win the prizes, they do not hold a monopoly in spectacle and originality.
carnival also brings out strange and forgotten aspects of Trinidad's history. Surprisingly, in these days of black consciousness, the Kentucky minstrel tradition survives. Brought here by black slaves from America after the War of Independence, when, in gratitude to their loyalty, George III's government granted them land in Mayaro, where their descendants still live, taking part as minstrels in carnival over the years. by this old film of carnival 25 years ago. When the white colonials couldn't beat it by force, they joined it. <laughs> Making a mockery of their former slaves, or simply being themselves. The imagination of the black players of mass has always leaned towards the fantastic, mysterious and grotesque. carnival has ended. It is Lent now, and those who can still manage to go to church are blessed with the grace of their belief. For most Trinidadians, carnival does not die. It sleeps in the blood for another year. Before the sounds of one carnival have died away, the panyards come alive with new sounds for next year. Carnival lives, carnival rules. Trinidad prepares once more to pay annual homage to King Carnival.